judging from what's in the papers this morning, um, I do have some concerns. One is that we appear to be missing our major cities, and connectivity is actually important. Uh, connecting our major cities is the point. Indeed. And secondly, uh, the government appear to be retreating from, from connecting it to our major hub airport, Heathrow, and I think there are considerable concerns about okay, that. Okay, and that could have knock-on effects in terms of runways needed and, and other things like that, and it, distributing it, passages around the country. It can have major effects, which I, I'd right. be happy to go into. But I want to put that point to Cheryl Gillen. So, I mean, you support it, but you want to see it done more quickly, first of all, and there are other dimensions. Cheryl Gillen, do we need, do we need it at all? Well, uh, first of all, I, I, I don't support it because I think that there are other alternatives alternatives, but if we are going to have it, then I would take up Maria's point of connectivity as being one of the most important things. Because if you're going to build um, a new transport system through green land and green belt land, you want it to connect our major airports and our major cities. So for example, going ahead with the London to Birmingham route before you know where your hub airport is, is absolutely ridiculous. And like Maria, I want to see the details of the announcement mm. tomorrow that has been so heavily trailed with, with lots of fluffy PR to try and make people yeah, love but we this all project. Know about the, I, I mean, but, but, you, so but you good, say you're not really sure we need it in the first place anyway. No, I'm not, because first of all, I, I'm not sure it's good value for money. Um, number two, I don't think it does what it says on the box, uh, and that is connects um, our major transport system. What about the issue of, of economic stimulus? Well, Spend some money. If you're going to have some economic stimulus, I also think you have got to think which areas of the country need that economic stimulus. So why not start with the Y route? Why not start with the northern connections? And then you would be able to wait for the Davis report to see where our main hub airport is going to be in the southeast of England. And you could actually have a railway that joins places to places That's and an travellers. So, so why not start Manchester in the north? We're, we're in favour, actually, of, uh, of, of doing one piece of legislation. The government are going to produce a bill towards the end of this year to just to do the London to Manchester section. We think we, you should have one That's bill nice. to do the entire Y route. You could then start building from both ends. I think the issue about starting just from the north is that in, in reality, uh, the West Coast Main Line would be full by the middle of 2026. And it is that capacity issue that makes it imperative to get this okay. right. You may be touching that in a minute, Cheryl Gillen, but I just want to push you on this point, Maria Gillen, about the speed of it all. Do you think, I mean, we got to have inquiries, we've got to have planning legislation in this country, however much you speed it up, this is going to you know, go through beautiful yes. parts of the countryside, yes. affect people's properties. We, we can't do this like the Chinese, we've got to spend some time planning it. Absolutely right. I mean, my concern at the moment is that the government inherited this plan. Uh, at this rate, by the time we get to the next election, we'll be no nearer actually implementing any of it. And I think that that is a reflection of the poor grip that the current government have got on driving forward with this. They have botched, let's be clear about this, they've botched the consultation on the London to Birmingham route. We're waiting for the outcome of court cases, which may mean they have to do that consultation again. So my criticism is they haven't grabbed hold well, of this. Well, would you have run roughshod over them if you'd been in no, power? No, but we would not have lost and not taken account of, the, uh, of all the submissions of the major opponents of the scheme, which is what the government have done. Uh, we also have concerns about the route, about whether or not yeah. it's right to run it through Cheryl's constituency in a way in which the current <laughs> proposal uh, uh, suggests. And I think that there are issues if you start building stations away from the heart of cities. For if, political reasons, you Well, uh, uh, we'll wait and see the full announcement tomorrow. I've only seen what the newspapers say about this, but I don't think having a station outside of Sheffield, instead of going to where the Sheffield railway station now is, is what you need for connectivity. I don't think having hmm. high-speed rail running north but okay, not well, going to our hub airport is what well, you need for, for point, connectivity. Well, let's for that point, that, that I that think point about, about building stations outside. But I think we're in I mean, that, that, that's, Absolutely. It's people like you that, that have caused this. But because you've, con you know, you're, no, you're, not in you're saying not in my constituency. Absolutely not. No, the problem is, is that the government was absolutely obsessed with speed, and so they've driven uh, well, a railway it, line well, straight it, it's through. In the title, HS2. Without, but you can still have speed, but you need to have connectivity. There is no point in bypassing those areas of the country that you're trying to connect. There are a lot of people going to wake up tomorrow morning, Dermot, and they're going to hear this announcement, and their lives, their businesses, their homes are going to be affected by this. It's it's going to take a long time for this railway to come to fruition. Goodness only knows where the money is going to come from to build it. And I think it is ah. the wrong well, railway, the wrong railway well, in the wrong memory. place at the wrong okay, time. Okay, but I mean, into the box, we're going to hear a lot more about it when we get the details tomorrow. This is going to key also into the pressure on this government and so much pressure 
to stimulate the economy by some grand scale project. They're going to parade this. But we're reading it's not going to open until 2033. Absolutely. They're I mean, you're not, you're a, not even going to turn the turf for four years you're not, at the quickest. You're not even going to necessarily have legislation only for part of it. I mean, we discover that the, any link to Heathrow is not going to be in part one. You're going to have two pieces of legislation to go through on a hybrid bill process, which is absolutely enormous. Nobody is going to really put a spade in the ground until really 2014 or 2015. 2017. Okay, actually. so Maria, the reality well, how, well, how, how do you fund it? Do you, well, do you tap up the taxpayer well, or do you do one of your well, newfangled look, the, the PFI money, schemes? The money the money that we're currently spending every year capital expenditure on Crossrail is the money that will go forward once Crossrail's finished to pay um, this money over a period of time during which it's being built. So it's not, it, it's just the normal capital investment that we have in railways. And I think after many years of big capital investments, rightly in London, it's about time that the north of England got some of the benefit of the connectivity that improved mm. rail links can bring. So there isn't an issue about finding the money. I think there is an issue about the government being slow, uh, not being very competent because they've botched the first stage of the consultation. They may have to do that again. What we don't want to see is slippage. We want to see the north of England connected. We want the stations to be mm. in the right place. We want our major airports linked in. But Otherwise, we're not going to get the, the full value. The it's just on the slide. She sounded to me like you want a degree of central planning, saying, look, somebody's going to be upset. And the Transport Secretary has said this. Well, Some people are going to be upset wherever yes, it goes. And, that is and true. is that what a Labour government would say? Look, sorry, this is for the good of the country. You're going to just have to like it and lump it. Well, that is true at the end of the day. That isn't to say you shouldn't have proper procedures to go through the proper. The hybrid bill process will do the planning and people will have to be heard. But we have to make sure as politicians that we get the correct route, that we don't end up with a, a, a high-speed rail link that doesn't take people where mm. they need to go, that but doesn't connect to our major city. But one person's correct route is going the wrong way but, because it's but blighting that's, your view that's or always your going, garden or but whatever. But that's, that's always going to be the case. But if you are going to plan for the country into the future, you need to have a strategic plan which gets the connectivity. Labour was always on about it in government, but never produced it. An integrated transport plan. You don't want people dragging cases halfway across town. You don't want railway stations that are outside town blighting the central town areas you do need to have a degree of sensible planning and I don't believe it's taken place with this railway because you're quite right Maria we inherited it from you we seem to look at it and take the ball and run with it mm. without standing back and saying hold on a second what do we really need There's why a, would so you have, have the Howard, to why would you have the Howard you Davis think review is wrong with well them, they've, they've, they've gone slowly I don't think they've chosen hmm. the but best. But what about the connectivity? I don't what think about they've chosen the, the best. Stations and the they linking they to have the, had a focus airports. on simply on, and all governments, the previous government focused on this too because of business case planning, a focus on the time savings when what you should have a focus on is connectivity yep. and is making sure that you can stimulate growth throughout the country and get the full benefits of doing this. Linking our airports to our railway stations, this is not rocket science. At this rate, we're going to have a mm. plan proposed by the last Labour government that's going to be delivered by the next Labour government and that will not yet have a clear uh, best route that goes via our airports, that, via our main this cities. This government is not getting it right Maria and not getting and I it have done. A, Maria and I have a, a, a real degree of agreement on this, but I would say that I'm also worried that it's not good value for money for the taxpayer. And as I've said, it's the wrong project at the wrong time in the wrong place. And if you put a cart before a horse, you're not going to get the right outcome. If we're going to have it, although I really query whether this is what we need, then why don't we start in the north where we do need to yeah, rebalance the economy? Forward. OK, well, we'll uh, find more details out tomorrow. No doubt uh, be talking to uh, you two about it for, well, many years to come. <laughs> 2033 till we get our first ride on it, if it, if it happens. 2026, ever. you can get to Birmingham. Oh, OK, get to Birmingham. <laughs> you okay. heard. Maria <laughs> Eagle, I doubt it. Cheryl Gimmon, thank you both very much indeed. Good to see you.